Hey everybody, this is Marky Mark, and uh, I just wanted to show you something I got off the exchanges the other day. It's a 19, well, 40s or maybe 50s uh, bull whip. It's 13 foot long, and uh, I uh, actually made a cracker on it, a lead in a cracker. I looked up at the tutorial on how to make one, so I made it on a paracord. And then the end was just tied to some leather, and I used some tape because I couldn't... I couldn't get it to tie off right, so I'm gonna give this thing a try. Oh, this thing's quite dangerous. I hit myself in the face a few times already. Ah, see it wrapped around my arm. That could really hurt. Ah. I hit myself in the face. Ow! Oh, that hurt. <laughs> I haven't really mastered the use of a long bull whip yet. This thing is really big compared to my little short six footer. So it's gonna take some practice to get good at it. So basically, after it reaches its full length, uh, the end is going so fast it uh, breaks the sound barrier, which that's what makes the, the sound, my bad, and makes the cracking sound. Seeing people swinging around like this and then go down and ow, that hurt. Mm. <laughs> I knew that was about to happen. <laughs> the way I was swinging it around my head done took my head off. Well, I'm going to restore this old whip to its full potential. Oh, my knot's coming undone. Uh, I might have to, I'm going to have to do something with this leather knot at the end. It just isn't, isn't going to cut it, I don't think. It's going to come undone and fall off, probably. Uh, if y'all have any suggestions on how to fix this better, <laughs> or know any whip smiths around here, whip, whip makers that could help me fix this thing to get it cracking the best it can, I'd really appreciate it. Just put some comments down below. I hit myself in the back of the neck. See, I'm not used to this big whip. I haven't actually used a whip like this since I was a kid. But... Ah. I wonder how you're supposed to do it frontwards. Because it's going to... Nope. Nope, that ain't working. <clears throat> now it's all, I'm all tangled up. <sighs> Give it a few more tries. Well, at least I could do the classic, the classic one if I could. Yeah, that was a weak snap. There's guys on the internet that go back and forth. That's all about the motion and getting that that crack motion out. Oh. Yeah, that hurts. My arms getting tired on this thing. Damn. I 
I guess my cracker probably isn't the best either. I mean, it's, I put two crackers on there instead of just one, thinking it would come out louder, but <laughs> I don't know. And we got a leaf. I'm gonna have to tie this sucker real tight. There's one where you can put it in front of you like this, and it'll, it'll uh, snap, but obviously I'm struggling with it. It's because I'm not used to the, the motion with it. Uh, <sighs> this is a lot of fun. That's stuck in my arm. It's a very loose whip, so it's probably been used a long, t long time. I don't know exactly what the core is made out of. I think it's wood, but it could be rotten wood. <laughs> Might have to do something to tighten that up so it's stiffer. Other one more. Nope. <laughs> My arm is killing me, so I'm gonna quit. Uh, I just wanted to show you all this whip I got. So it's a work in progress. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and fix it up so it works all the way good. But uh, yeah. Maybe the double cracker ain't such a good idea. Maybe that's what's making it super hard to crack. So, anyways. Alright, this has been Mark and Mark. Backyard uh, whip cracking. And hope you all enjoyed watching. God bless y'all. Mark and Mark. House.